baseball rules for the upcoming season. Double headers will be two seven inning games, so same as last year. Mm -hmm. Each offense will get a runner on second to start every extra half inning. Every extra inning. The active roster limit will revert to 26 and expand to 28 in September. MLB clubs are permitted to carry up to five additional taxi squad players on all road trips. They're also going to have um, a contact tracing. I don't know if they're going to wear the, um, the thing around their wrist like some of the uh, NBA players and NFL players do, but they are going to do that. There will uh, be a mandatory five-day at-home quarantine prior to report to spring training frequent administration of PCR tests. Individuals who have been identified as having been in close contact with a confirmed case of COVID will be subject to a mandatory quarantine of seven days and must test negative on day five or later to rejoin the club. A new league-wide code of conduct prohibiting certain high-risk activities outside the ballpark. Indoor gatherings of 10 or more, indoor restaurants, bars and lounges, fitness and wellness centers, entertainment venues, gaming venues, like a casino. Uh, during the season, individuals during road trips are not permitted to leave the hotel other than for team activities at the team facility or ballpark, other than for medical reasons, outdoor walks, exercise, outdoor dining, if approved, or for low, other low-risk outdoor activities. Contact tracing will, requ will require Connexon contact tracing device to be worn at all times while in club facilities. Face coverings must be properly worn at all times in the dugout, other than for players on the field. And MLB clubs will have a compliance officer, contact tracing officer, and a face mask enforcement officer. Fines will be issued for non-compliance during games, and the fines will be donated to charity. Well, I'm glad that the players agreed to this because, again, it's going to be a monk-like existence. You can't leave your hotel except to take a walk. Can't go to a restaurant. Can't really do anything. It's not a bubble, but it's pretty restrictive. But the one thing they didn't agree on, of course, is the universal DH. Because the players say that's not so much as for safety, but it should be something that we get traded. You know, we, we shouldn't have to give them extra playoffs in order to get the universal DH. Maybe that'll clip in at the last minute, right before the season starts. They'll add the playoff teams. I'm not sure. But this is a step forward. People are going to start reporting the spring training February 16th. So... I guess, yeah, it's a week from today. Yeah. A week from today. The Yankees and Mets will report, and uh, I think it's a step in the right direction. People have to be careful. You can't just fly and go, okay, let's play a baseball season. You do have to have some restrictions in place, and I like what they did. Yeah, it's that's fine. And I guess like, we have to live with the seven-inning doubleheaders, which I guess isn't awful. And, you know, the runner at second base kind of bothers me. But, I, I listen, we were okay with it. It's a little weird. Kind of compromises things, but uh, whatever. I guess you can't have these games go on forever, right? So um, you do that. But I just hate the fact that really important decisions to try to help grow the sport are being used as bargaining chips. And especially when I think the players are kind of cutting off their nose despite their face because I think they can benefit from the DH. I know it's only 14 jobs or 15 jobs or whatever, but they're jobs, right? I mean, I, I just – who wants to see a pitcher hit? Now, uh, this is coming from somebody that always enjoyed the strategy of the game, but that's over now. Most of these pitchers don't last six innings anyway. You're changing pitchers left and right, so what does it really matter? You invest $40 million to Dodgers and Trevor Bauer. Do they really want him facing a 95-mile-per-hour slider, running bases, where he could twist his ankle or pull a hamstring or something, like what happened to Danaka a few years ago? What happened to, um, uh, who was it, uh, Kei Gawa? Not Kei Gawa. Um, no, who was Chin it? Ming Wong. Yeah, Chin Ming Wong. Really, Michael, why? You talk about the longevity. I mean, look how long we got to see Reggie Jackson and Dave Winfield play because of the DH. Not to mention that a lot of these National League teams were building, maybe assuming there was going to be a DH, and now there's not going to be. Uh, I, I just wish the players and the owners can get together to try to grow the game. 